Hey beauties, morning to you. So beautiful people, I saw something on the news yesterday, you know, and uh, let me tell you something. You see, if you're not going to come with this kind of uh, political war and tribalism and vitriol and mayhem, let me tell you, man, I, I'm, <laughs> let me not even say that, you know, because I do want the people to vote. I saw the video of the counselor, you know, I can't even... I would almost want on the basis of what I saw. I'm don't worry, I'm not in support of either of the two. You know, for years there are two things that have stained the two political parties that people have promulgated and it seemed to sometimes be true. But not everything. Perceptions can be greater than reality. I've heard people say that one of the, the, the things that they detest with the people's national parties that they have ways, uncanny ways of trying to demonize people who are demonized the other party to make themselves look like they are the saints. And one of the um, things with the Jamaica Labour Party people have said is that they tend to be greedy, very avaricious and all for themselves, you know, or for the rich. They don't help the poor. So one demonizes one, one is greedy, you know, and neither of the two is good. Neither of the two. They are both they can be equally, I don't even know, dangerous. Dangerous. Those are the things, you know, that people would have observed with both political parties. That is why I don't know if I can be diehearted anybody except Jesus. Now, I saw a video. The only thing that I will say, which may seem more, sorry, in support of the Jamaica Labour Party. And if you listen to me, I am not in support of neither of the two regime, really. I am really for the MP that just works that decide to work whether you're jlp whether you're pnp and uh, it just seems very very i don't when i say stage not in terms of um all the actors in the whole scenario say meaning you wonder if that video was if you wonder if people deliberately set up something from the so-called pnp side it just would seem that way so you see a man in a vehicle somebody said they saw two videos i didn't see the two um, so a man is in a vehicle with a woman I see in the green shirt, which is the counselor apparently. A man in a red or orange that seemed to represent PNP comes to his window, stands there talking to him. You don't know what took place after that. Suddenly I see another section where the two and a, a fight is ensued. The two men are fighting. Then the man, because the orange one is there throwing fist so to speak and throwing his hands. The other one kind of backs up and head towards his side as though he's going for some sort of weapon. They stated that it was a gun. I didn't. You just seem good. His hand go there, and then the video stops. Then, you, uh, then another section comes. You see some JLP supporter come and beat up on the man that was in the orange shirt. You know, and I now begin to wonder: Is this something planned? You know, to make the PNP look good and to get rid of as many, um, you know, especially if it's a council that you know may win. You know. I don't think it would be the, the, the JLP that would be sabotaging himself. It would be ridiculous because it's almost like saying Satan kingdom is divided against itself. Like he's preaching the message of, message of Christ while preaching his own message. That would make any sense. It's like saying to somebody, I don't want any money at all in life. Never do, do I ever want any money. I don't want to earn any money. I don't want to get any money. It's almost like he would be doing that to himself because that entire video to me, what I saw makes no sense. The only thing that I'm saying, I, I, I mean, I hope Jamaicans will wise up, whether it's a JLP or the PNP, that they will not allow these political tribalists or political tribalism or political war, um, political vitriol um, to be the way to get people to vote for that particular party. We need to come out of this. Everything is just aggressive and evil and wicked when we're dealing with something in Jamaica. In other words, if somebody steps on the toe, we feel like the next thing to do is to kill the individual. Somebody says something that is not good, the next thing we do is to, to, to kill the individual. Now, let us say, no, I'm not going to support. I mean, so I can understand why the Prime Minister in his Miami Vice, I mean, is that nice shirt? Don't get me. I'm just troubling him. When he was out there by um, St. Thomas, the opening of um, that new the highway there, right? He's saying that the, victor, the, the video seems a little bit uh, doctored. And I can understand because that's how it came across to me on the news. I'm not, you know that I call a spade a spade, whether you're a JLP or you're a PNP or whichever party. What I can only go by with, with what I see. You know, it just seems a little bit staged. It seemed, uh, not staged, I keep saying the word staged, like doctored. It seemed that way. Well, although somebody said to me, no, Tony, and I saw another video and 
it, it seemed as if they were beating up on the, the guy in the red or orange, you know, so-called PNP looking shirt. But I guess my, my question is, it's just so strange that a, a video is made showing the counselor in his green shirt, somebody's in the car with him, a female, and then a man in a PNP is coming to his window, whatever it is. I don't know if he's threatening him, talking to him, asking him for something, saying something to him, but some argument is beginning or has begun. It just seems very, very strange. Like, I mean, if I were to just be natural and be somebody who just feels to say what I say, it would seem like on the PNPs and like they're making mischief. It would seem that way based on how the, the, you just seen parts, one section of the video, then you see it jumps to another section, then it jumps to another section. Like when you're watching some movies on YouTube, they just skip out, skip out. You wonder what, what the heck is going on here? You're not seeing the full movie. So I can understand, you know, but I'll agree with the Prime Minister. And it goes for both PNP and JLP councillors, MPs. Once you're in this political game, you have to learn a word or terminology it's called emotional intelligence. You know, at a fair enough level at the very least. Make it be in the hundreds. Hundred and something, at least. Learn a thing called self-control. Self-control and emotional intelligence are basically one in the same you know, when you look at it. Because you execute emotional intelligence when you execute self-control. Now, let us say it wasn't a case. Let us say the man was not threatening him. He's just so-called got it. Whatever reason, he would have gone to his vehicle and it was that, that whole scenario has been videotaped. Boy, I tell you, this country is amazing. You know, as the Prime Minister says, you realize you know that you're in this in a political race. You know, to become the councillor to win this local government election. You know, walk away, just walk. It's easier said than done, you know. But the problem that I have is that many of us as Jamaicans, there is the spirit of self control is missing. That ingredient in the pie is missing. That ingredient in the cake is missing. So he too would have needed to execute self control. It's easier said than done because when you're irate, you know, when you get angry and somebody's making mischief or somebody's threatening you for no reason, let me tell you, your anger, your anger levels double. It doubles because you know that somebody's doing something without a cause, so to speak, a right cause. Although you do, even if somebody does wrong, you really don't have a cause to retaliate. We need to get out of this kind of political madness. I don't think he's a man with sabotage him own self because his own self because look at this now he's now probably going to have to step down because from the mere fact he reached out to get a they say it's a gun I don't I did all I said was go to him side I, honestly I didn't know I, a lot of people accuse me of being PNP because I will chide the JLP and I keep saying to them PNP is not in power unless you want me to go back to things that they did and we're going to keep rehashing and bringing up dopey stories which how how fruitful would that be how can can i change what they did back in the past let, so let us say they they did horribly you know no good at all can i change what they did back then no if they were in power and doing the foolishness trust me they would have been chided by me i can tell you that they would have been chided by me i believe in voting for the mp that works whether you're jlp pnp upp opp lmnop matters not to me I'm not that hearted any of these um, because they're all friends and Cumberland in the long run. You hear me, I tell you? I just two ass step on the race. And you have other little incumbents coming on, trying a little thing. Who really mean Jamaica well, but they would need the backing and the support of the people and the business sector, financially and socially and otherwise. And prayers most importantly. So I, I, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. To me, it... it Probably if I were a judge or whatever it is, I'd have just throw out that. Honestly, I would have throw it out. Because it just seemed a little bit like the man was being sabotaged. To me, I could be wrong. Notwithstanding, in all things, you exercise emotional intelligence or you exercise self-control. So he's wrong in that area too, the JLP's, um, what do you call it, their counselor. We need to, so Jamaicans be wise though. Watch if you see where something just seems a little bit sinister and nefarious and malevolent, watch it. Be wise. Guys, follow me on TikTok. 
subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please share this message. Thank you.